welcome back to the channel. It's been a long time since I've made a fresh video. For the last few two, three weeks, I've been essentially doing a lot of videos from a live stream that takes place every Sunday. Speaking of live streams, please be sure to tune in this coming Sunday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time for another live stream. Bring your questions ready. Tell me things such as, what equipment are you using? When you want me to make a recommendation of some sort, it is important that I know the rest of the associated equipment before I give you my input, okay? So it is really important that when you are asking me a question, you are as thorough as possible. Don't just ask me, hey, Jay, I need an amplifier for under $10,000. Uh, what do you think? I can't help you with that. I need to know what else. What are your speakers? What are your, what's your pre-amplification? What about your cables? What are you utilizing? Tell me these things. I need to know more. I need to know more than just you asking me what amp or preamp or speaker cables or speakers, okay, to utilize. It is very important that you think about these things, okay? I want to help you. And it's free of charge. Now, those of you who want more of a personal recommendation, more of a one-on-one, -on -one, you got a specific situation, then you can do a consultation with me, okay? Look at the description of the video. There is a link there that you can click, and it takes you to my website where you can read more about this consultation service, okay? I strongly recommend that you talk to me before you spend thousands of dollars, okay? And let's face it. A lot of the stuff that I deal with happens to be quite expensive. And so if you're playing at a high level, or you, not even that, if you're even playing on a lower level than me, and you're looking to spend 10, 20, 30, $40,000, do yourself a favor, okay? Talk to me. Don't do that to yourself. If a dealer recommends you the wrong thing, you're the one losing, not the dealer. You are losing. Because you didn't do your homework. You have to do homework. There is some responsibility that lies on our shoulders. We have to be in control of our own journey. You can't let others be in control of your journey. Okay. And I'm not telling you or forcing you to buy what I recommend. All I'm doing is giving you an opinion, a very informed and qualified opinion. Okay. Most of the stuff that I recommend are things that I have already owned. Everything you've seen on my channel has been products, components that I have bought with my own money. No loans, no freebies, nothing comes in here, okay, free of charge. Uh, they're giving me compensation for bringing a component in here and talking, you know, about it. None of that occurs here at, J at Jay's Audio Lab, okay? I can assure you of that. So when I'm giving you my input, okay, it comes 100% from my own experience, from living with such component. Okay, speaking of components, you have seen my last video at the store in uh, London, okay? Beautiful, beautiful store, KJ West One, okay? Uh, this is in the middle of London. I love my time there with uh, the manager, Jason. Thank you for give, having me there. Let me give you some context as how that went down, okay? So I was in London with my family, enjoying myself. Uh, I went to Spain as well. By the way, you're looking at some images of me in Spain. I went to Malaga. One of the most amazing uh, cities in Spain was definitely uh, Malaga. So we went to London, then we went to Spain. Okay, so the time that I spent in London, of course, I went sightseeing, so all kinds of beautiful things around such a gorgeous city. Okay, and when I was there with my daughter and my wife, I figure, hey, I had to tell my wife, honey, um, do you mind if we go to an audio store? I'm looking at my phone right now, and it seems that we have a store nearby that has the typical usual suspects. All the stuff that you see on my channel. And so she said, yeah, let's make some time. Let's go over there. So we literally rolled up to this, into this location, KJ West Juan. And I was lucky that Jason, the store manager, did not have an appointment. Okay, because he typically has appointments. So 
I literally just went, I showed up, knocked on the door, and he was there. He had no idea who I was. Later on, he found out who I was, and uh, we started strike up, we stroke up a, convers a conversation about, you know, all kinds of components, and he showed me the store. So while I was there, I figure, well, this is so improvised that why not just bust out my phone and record? And that's exactly what I did. I started to record. I recorded. I had an interview with him. He told me about his experience within this industry. And, uh, you know, we went on and on and on about a lot of different things, including customers and including customer experience, um, how good, this is a perfect segue into what I need to say, how good in terms of sales Wilson Audio is in London. Yes, I know there are a lot of Wilson Audio haters. I know this. And once again, I do not work for Wilson Audio. Quite frankly, if I'm being sincere, I don't feel like we have a bad relationship, but we don't really have a great relationship either. Like, it's not like we're boys. But I don't have any beef with them. Okay? Yet, if I am going to be objective about things, if I am going to just be unbiased, I got to keep it 100% with you all. While I was there, the store manager uh, was talking to me about the different brands he has, Focal, Magical, uh, Wilson Audio, uh, Sonos Faber, Aida, Harbeth, I believe. Uh, I'm sure he has many other brands that I unfortunately did not get to see. I wasn't paying attention. Okay. And we had a very nice conversation about the industry. I cannot share everything we talked about. Okay. Because let's keep it real. Brands follow me. So if I start saying this person told me this about this other brand, the dealer gets in trouble. And I'm not in position to do that to people. Okay. I'm not going to do that to anyone. So what I can share with you is the fact that I would say not a shock, but it was somewhat of a shock for me. I found out that Wilson Audio is the best selling loudspeaker in this location, KJ West One. Basically, the manager, Jason, told me, hey, you know, even here in London, Wilson Audio tends to be that it brand, the loudspeaker brand that many audiophiles gravitate to. I think he said about 80% of his loudspeaker sales are Wilson Audio sales. And mind you, he has a lot of brands, including brands that are native of London. BMW, I don't think he's a dealer for BMW because there is a dealer down the street that carries the brand. But he has, there are other brands, right? And yet, Wilson Audio is at the top when it comes to sales. What does that say to you about this brand? What are they doing? What is it that they're doing to have such great impact in other big cities, other big countries. I mean, this is a first world country we're talking about, okay? They are preferring Wilson Audio for the most part over anything else. Now, does that mean that Magico is not a good brand? No, certainly does not mean that because this is about preferences, right? This is about preferences. Does that mean Sonos Faber is no good? No, nope. they even had an MBL. Doesn't mean they're bad brands. He was expressing to me that for some reason, even the English audiophile gravitates a lot, very hard towards Wilson audio. Okay. And so it just, I started to think about this on the plane, on the ride back home. Um, and I'm like, what is it that, what is it that Wilson audio does to create this presence, to create this aura, this image, this feeling that they are a real high pedigree loudspeaker designer that people should aspire to own, okay? Because that's the feeling I get when I get out. And mind you, I'm sharing this with you, okay, when I don't have to. So I figure it's a combination of, number one, of course, uh, Dave Wilson, who is no longer with us, right? Um, I think he just created a, magnific a magnificent product, product from the beginning, excuse me, that he had the right team around him, of course, because he could, not, he could have never done this alone. We know this, okay? This is a team effort. So he had the right people around him from the beginning, uh, created the what puppy. And so 
he started a trend and then what became a cult of people that follow the brand and wherever he went, people went. And now we are in front of one of the best loudspeakers, in my opinion, the Chronosonic XBX, which were, which was displayed at the store. He had the right approach. He had the right group of people near him. Obviously the finances to create whatever he wanted and whatever he was listening for, people heard. Whatever he was hearing, people were hearing. Whatever he created, people liked. People vibed with whatever is that comes out of Wilson Audio Speakers. Of course, there's also the, um, you know, this feeling that it is a upper echelon brand around the globe. It's a very highly regarded brand. And I think that, yeah, that, you know, that, I'm not going to say unfortunately, but that has a lot to do with why these um, audiophiles around the globe gravitate towards Wilson Audio. Is Wilson Audio the best loudspeaker in the world? I cannot say that because I haven't heard everything out there. There are many brands that I still want to own. For instance, Rockport, I want to own Sonos Faber Aidas. I want to own maybe an MBL. I want to own maybe a Steinheim. I want to own a lot of other speaker brands that I have never had the pleasure of owning. Okay, so I can't say that they are the best. But what I can say with you is they are without a doubt one of the best loudspeakers known to us. Nobody can deny that. I know the haters are going to come out right now and they're going to start making comments about how bad it is. And oh my God, people are buying this brand. And even, in, even in England, in London, they're buying this. They don't, what, what are people listening to? I can't believe this. I know some of you are getting ready to type right now and express your frustration as to why people love this iconic American brand. Guess what, folks? There's nothing you can do. There's nothing you can say to change people's opinion about this brand, good or bad. Nothing. That's like me talking crap about Apple. Do you really think because reviewers are talking, oh, the iPhone is a waste, buy an Android, buy a Samsung, buy an LG. Do you really think Apple worries about that? Do you really think what you say is something that they are concerned with? Hell no. There are lines of people outside waiting to buy the next iPhone when it releases. It never changes. They've built a great business model. They have something that's unique. This is no different. Yeah, it's unique in terms of time alignment. It's unique in terms of some people call it structure, different modules. It's unique. There's nothing like it. So those guys that are buying it are buying it because they like this uniqueness. And to some of you, it may not be something that you want to see in your living room because you hate the look, because you hate the appearance, because your wife won't allow it, because someone says it looks like a McDonald's trash can. You know, the Wilson Audio Sasha's look like a McDonald's trash can. I've heard it all. I've heard it all. Okay, um, but to hate on a brand because you don't like it, as some people do out there, some reviewers, some people who have YouTube channels, I think it's stupid. I think it's immature. I think it's something that I have left in my rear view mirror because I don't have that perception anymore. I have realized, I've come to the realization that this hobby is all about preferences. And just because your buddy likes brand A and you hate brand A, it doesn't make you the smarter audiophile. No, it does not. He just likes brand A and you like brand B. Learn to coexist with each other. Learn to understand that there are preferences. This is why we have different options available to us so that we don't have to follow what others, you know, go after. We don't. Okay, so tell me now, are you surprised to learn that Will Sonario is the best-selling speaker at this incredible high-end audio store in London? Is that a shocking thing for you? Did you think that Will Sonario only sells this well in the U.S. because it is an American brand? Or are you now understanding the impact that this brand has across the globe? I was very surprised personally, but I now want to hear from each and every one of you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for that love, for that support. I am energized right now. 
I'm ready to take on the world, and I want to bring you along with me. Until next time, take care. Peace.